Do you want to know the simplest way to build rapport? My name is Mark Betts. I own one of the largest multidisciplinary clinics in Canada. And today I'm going to show you the simplest way. And I mean, it's simple and wildly successful. Absolutely change your practice, change your clinic's practice. Here it is. I'm going to make it very easy for you. The simplest way is be like them. Now you say to yourself, Mark, Mark, this is ridiculous. Like, what the hell does that mean? Okay. I'm going to give you some examples to just say, oh, wow, I kind of get that. Like that really resonates well with me. Okay. Here's an example. How do you be like somebody? Well, here you go. I love skiing. I backcountry ski, I downhill ski, I cross country ski, I uh, skate ski, I do everything in skiing. I love it. I just went backcountry skiing this weekend. I've been in the uh, Paralympics for skiing. Okay, you can imagine if someone comes in with a skiing injury, they go, oh wow, Mark, awesome. Like, hey, they're gonna say, where do you go skiing? And I'm gonna say, well, I love skiing at Sun Peaks. I grew up skiing at Whistler. And then they go, well, man, I love Whistler. What's your favorite run? I'm going to say, oh, my God, you know, back in the day, I love skiing down Chunky's Choice. And then they go, so did I. Well, we even got into the therapy, and we're like brothers and sisters, right? We love what both of us are passionate about. And that's what's important. So when people feel comfortable around you, that's the first step that builds up trust. Well, what is everything you're going to do in your practice? It's about trust. It's about building a therapeutic relationship. So I'll give you another example. Someone comes in, they go, hey, uh, uh, you know, my name's uh, John and you know, I got this little back pain and I did it skiing. And I say, oh, yeah, skiing. Cool. OK, um, stand there and let me do a special test. That's a different experience. Or imagine if I said, Oh, skiing, I tried it once and I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like the cold. Like, oh, God, I hate being in the cold. I love, actually, I like swimming. Well, imagine if that person, you know, imagine the response of that person will have to a patient. So you can see it's so simple. Now I go back to the very basics of almost everything I talk about. Do what you're passionate about. So if you love skiing, treat skiers. If you love running, treat runners. If you love anything, find a way. If you love gardening, find a way to be absolutely valuable to a group of patients and clients for gardening. Now, I say this for the one simple fact that you're treating people at work, but whatever you want to do in your pastime, that's what lights you up also. So when you blend your pastime with the time you're uh, at work, you've got a winner, an absolute winner. So remember, where is that rapport created? Well, it, it, it's easily, easily and simply created with, is this person like me? And I'll give you an example, actually. I, I was just um, in an airport and I walked to the airport. And I didn't know where I was because I'm blind and I had my guide dog. And the first guy that came towards him was like, hey, do you know where WestJet is? And then I noticed he's tapping his cane. I'm like, hey, another blind guy. And he's like, yeah. And I said, hey, man, what's your name? He told me his name. And then we chatted and we talked about guide dogs. Uh, and then he, of course, he had no clue where WestJet was because it was his first time there. But I instantly felt connected with the person. Now, again, I could have a great a relationship and, and, and connection with someone who said, hey, yeah, WestJet's just down there. And I go, hey, thanks very much for helping me. And off I go. But the fact that I ran into someone like myself is totally amazing, right? It just, it was at a different level, that relationship. So there you go, guys. The simplest way to build rapport in your practice is figuring out how you can be like the other person and have the same passions. Get out there, take action. Can't wait to see you in the next video.